Dr. Chris Grosenbacher. He's our vet here at thestable.ca. So I thought I'd have him a- answer some questions about uh, OCDs, why we take them out, why we wouldn't take them out, what exactly they are, and uh, what risk they pose to the horse in the, in the future. So first off, Doc, what are OCDs? Uh, an OCD, the, the letters stand for osteochondrosis desiccans. It's a condition that we have in fast-growing horses, especially standard breds, um, where there's a problem with the joint development that uh, basically ends up with little pieces of bone or cartilage that are improperly attached to the surface. They can become loose, they can be very hard, firmly attached to um, the joint, the loose ones become a problem really fast, and the ones that are attached usually don't pose a big problem. So, do we do you see OCDs frequently in standard breds? It's a very frequent problem. Especially yearlings, or, or less yearlings, or usually yearlings. It's usually a time of the year when we look for them. When we when you get a little speed on them, that you notice that uh, the joints swell up or they're a little bit lame. Usually we take an x-ray, we fluoroscope them, and we see that uh, there's a, a piece of bone or cartilage in the left in the joint. Now, would it be uh, something you stop with and immediately address, or um, is it a case-by-case basis, or, or, or uh, what are your thoughts? I guess it's different for every horse, would it it's, be? It's clearly a case-to-case basis where you have to see how comfortable the horse is. If the horse is comfortable and there's no problem at all um, in terms of swelling in the joint, or lameness, then uh, I'm more than comfortable to let those horses go on a little bit. If you have a horse that uh, is clearly lame, has a clearly lot of joint effusion, has a big body hop, for example, yeah. or, a, or a big ankle, big round ankle, that's the moment when I'm uh, more concerned about it and um, when I'm uh, more, be- when I would be more pressing in taking those chips out it, soon as well. Uh, next question. Um... Is there any um, issue with waiting to take them out? Now, for instance, we have a horse I'm making it who I had fluoroscoped. He does have an OCD in each hawk. His hawks don't blow up. And when I spoke to the vet and the surgeon, um, they both said it's not a problem to wait. And I was thinking maybe take it in March when the track gets a little soft. Um, Is there any issues with, with waiting or is this something that should be addressed immediately? As long as we have the situation that I just explained, that we have a a horse that doesn't have a large amount of effusion in the joint or is clearly lame, I have no problems waiting a little bit until the the times are better. We're also not going any fast speeds right now, so um, he would would let you know when he needed them to move forward. Okay. All right, so that's OCDs. This is our vet, Dr. Chris Grosenbacher. If any other questions come up, feel free to email me at anthony at thestable.ca.